Update 3 on Super Typhoon Usagi, a Philippine name Odette, currently located to the east of the Philippines, now a Category 5 Typhoon with winds of 160 miles per hour gusting to 195 and a pressure of 918 millibars. Current positions 18.2 degrees north, 127.3 degrees east, expected to move towards the west-northwest over the next few days as a Category 5 storm beginning to weaken towards the Category 4, Category 3 eventually as it passes Taiwan and the Philippine Islands and then eventually reaching China, maybe Hong Kong and Macau as well reaching uh, having typhoon conditions as that storm passes signal 2 warnings in effect right now for northern Luzon including the offshore islands and signal 1 warnings uh, further south along um, no the northern reaches of Luzon as well so th those are likely to be upgraded as well in future as the storm draws ever nearer so the probability of tropical storm conditions in the next 96 hours are very high especially on either side of the Luzon Strait uh, the northern tip of the Philippines the southern tip of Taiwan in particular is where we're concentrating on over the next few days at least least um and then once it clears there, the focus will shift over to China. Probability percentages of typhoon conditions are very high as well in that region. Um, it is a very powerful storm, a very dangerous storm, and could result in quite a lot of disruption as a Category 5 storm right now. Um, it's likely to weaken, but not by much, as it draws close to Taiwan. This is the current sea surface temperatures. You see how they're fairly warm at the moment, 28, 29 degrees Celsius, uh, which is certainly enough to sustain a fairly strong storm. This is the, what the models are saying, the CMC um, having it of towards the north a little bit then curving towards the west uh, stalling perhaps a little bit in between Philippines and uh, Taiwan and then moving towards the west moving close to China possibly moving over but probably just staying offshore according to the CMC model with another storm forming out towards the east the GFS model is fairly similar uh, having the storm passing through towards the west, making landfall in China eventually, moving inland a little bit, and that's what the official forecast is currently saying as well, going with the GFS at this time. Uh, it does call for the storm to move out into the Gulf of Tonkin as well towards the end of that run there, which is be interesting to see um, if it regenerates or anything like that once, once it's out there. But this is the latest satellite imagery. You can see how an intense storm this is, especially as it moves towards the uh, west-northwest. This is the past few hours. Um, the storm's intensified very quickly over the past day or so, uh, from around 75 miles per hour to what it is now 160 miles per hour and an um, air pressure of 918 millibars. You can see how it's a very intense storm. Lots of heavy rain, particularly towards the south of the storm, and extremely strong winds, of course. Uh, as I said earlier, gusting as much as 195 miles per hour at this time. With regards to the storm surroundings, not too much getting in the way of intensification at the moment, and we could see a little bit more intensification before it begins to weaken, maybe to 165 miles per hour. But certainly, regardless of what intensity it draws close to Taiwan on the Philippines as, it will certainly be a very powerful storm, very dangerous storm as well. Uh, Hurricane Manuel, currently located on the other side of the Pacific, Invest 95L in the Atlantic, likely to develop into a tropical storm. Humber is now a tropical depression uh, very close to turning into a post tropical storm and out in the Pacific here we are right now uh, Usagi of course moving towards the Philippines and Taiwan 98W the invest still going that could be the next one that forms in the western Pacific but as of right now there is no other systems active that uh, we need to keep an eye on at this time so this is the 2013 compared, it's the 15th tropical storm, the 5th typhoon and the 3rd storm to reach category 3 status. Um, I believe it's the 2nd one to reach super typhoon uh, status and the 1st storm of the year to reach category 5 intensity, the 1st storm worldwide that is. Uh, so 2013 is in 69th place out of 70 in history, um, but there's still a little bit of the, well still quite a bit of the season left to go, so um, I think we'll rise up a little bit further in the table yet. Uh, this is the uh, current view on the website page right now. We're tracking the storm on there as well. If you if you want to go and visit, um, that will be more up to date than these videos, of course, um, throughout the day and whenever I'm at the computer, I'll be updating the um, information on the storm, um, including the warnings as well. So I'll track the storm at the website force13.com forward slash storm tracking.html. That's the main page for it. There you can see the whole world and. Um, all the storms that are out there at the moment, including tables at the top and bottom showing their intensities and indeed any warnings that are currently in effect. I try to keep it as up to date as possible. You can also find us elsewhere on the web, Facebook and Twitter to search Force 13 on either of those mediums. You should find us fairly easily enough. And um, as always, please do show your support if you can by doing the usual means of engagement, by liking, subscribing, commenting, favoriting and uh, doing anything else, sharing as well. That would be quite nice as well. Um, uh, and if you have any questions or comments, just uh, do so underneath the video and I'll reply to them if necessary. Um, but 
the main thing really with this storm at the moment is to stay safe out there but it's a very strong storm very powerful and indeed if it does go as forecast and strike very close to Taiwan uh, there could be quite a lot of problems occurring from there and indeed in China and Hong Kong as well um, a little bit further down the line but the next update on this storm will probably arrive at around midnight UTC tonight that's Friday the, uh, the 20th of September UTC um, bearing in mind this storm's a very intense storm and very dangerous one as well we'll probably do two updates um, in a day but until then that's all for now